What scientists are beginning to find in the Bermuda Triangle is a stretch of ocean, quiet and blue, nestled between three seemingly innocuous points. Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. No borders are drawn, no dotted lines on maps. Yet we all know its name. The Bermuda Triangle. A place spoken of in hushed tones, where planes vanish mid-transmission, ships leave no trace, and compasses spin like possessed relics. For decades, it's been the perfect cocktail of maritime mystery, pseudoscientific theories, and human fascination. But something's changing. Today, scientists are beginning to piece together a puzzle that's captivated the world for nearly a century. Using advanced satellite tracking, geophysical surveys, oceanographic modeling, and even gas hydrate mapping, researchers are peeling back the veil. And what they're finding? Well, it might finally solve the mystery, or deepen it. I'm James Stewart, and you're watching Asked from Earth. Let's journey into the heart of one of Earth's greatest enigmas, the Bermuda Triangle, the myth that wouldn't die. It began, perhaps appropriately, with a journal entry. In 1492, sailing west into the unknown, Christopher Columbus penned an unusual observation. He wrote of a glowing light rising from the sea like a candle. He noted compass needles veering unnaturally. Centuries passed. Then, in 1918, the USS Cyclops vanished without a trace. No SOS. No debris. Just over 300 men and a steel ship gone as if plucked from the sea. In 1945, five U.S. Navy bombers on a routine training flight radioed in distress. We are entering white water. We are completely lost. They disappeared. So did the rescue plane sent to find them. These weren't fishermen in dinghies. These were military professionals, state-of-the-art machines. The stories piled up. The Ellen Austin and the Ghost Ship in 1881. Star Tiger and Star Ariel two British airliners lost a year apart. Countless smaller disappearances across air and sea. A pattern emerged, or rather, we drew a triangle around the pattern. Drawing the triangle, Vincent Gaddis was the man who gave the place its name in a 1964 magazine article. Three points, one triangle, the Bermuda Triangle. It sounded catchy, ominous, marketable. Others followed, books, Films, TV specials, Charles Berlitz bestseller sold 20 million copies, linking the triangle to Atlantis, time warps, and extraterrestrials. And here's the thing. The facts were thin. The disappearances were real. But the data? Cherry-picked. Misreported. Often exaggerated. Still, even skeptics couldn't explain away everything. The triangle's myth grew bigger than the ocean itself. Scientists dive in. Enter the scientists. In recent decades, researchers have used deep sea sonar, satellite imaging, and high resolution bathymetric mapping to study the region. And what they found? Well, it wasn't alien relics or ancient power crystals, but it was fascinating. Let's start with methane. Beneath the seabed lie massive pockets of methane hydrate, ice like structures that trap gas under pressure. If these suddenly collapse, they can erupt in violent bursts, reducing the water's density and causing ships to sink rapidly with little to no warning. These eruptions could even disrupt flight paths if released into the atmosphere. The, that's not all. Nature's fury. The Bermuda Triangle sits in the path of the Gulf Stream, a powerful current that can reach speeds over five knots. That's fast enough to sweep away debris, wreckage, even entire vessels. Then there's the weather. This region is a hotspot for hurricanes, waterspouts, and sudden squalls. A calm sea can turn deadly in minutes. Add to that, rogue waves. Rare, towering behemoths that rise without warning, some as high as 100 feet. The kind of wave that can snap a freighter in two dot combine methane eruptions, rapid currents, and violent storms, and you get a recipe for maritime disaster without needing aliens or mythical cities. The compass theory, one of the earliest and most persistent explanations was navigational error. You've probably heard it before, compasses go haywire in the triangle, but is that true? 
Yes and no. There is a place where magnetic and true north align, known as the Agonic Line, and it did once pass through the Bermuda Triangle. This can cause slight compass deviations for those unaware. However, today that line has shifted westward. Pilots and sailors are trained to account for magnetic declination. It's unlikely this would cause mass disorientation, unless paired with stress, bad weather, or faulty equipment, which, historically, has been exactly the case. The numbers game, perhaps the most shocking discovery of all? The data doesn't add UP. According to Lloyds of London and the US Coast Guard, the Bermuda Triangle is not even in the top 10 most dangerous shipping lanes in the world. In fact, it's statistically safer. Between 1982 and 2015, just 4% of marine casualties occurred within its borders. In 2021, only two vessels reported issues out of over 8,000 that passed through .AS for aircraft. The only documented commercial incident in recent decades involved turbulence, an injury, not a disappearance. The Flight 19 tragedy? Most likely a tragic case of pilot disorientation. Lieutenant Taylor, the flight leader, believed he was over the Florida Keys when he was actually deep over the Bahamas. His decision to keep flying east, away from land, sealed the mission's fate. Human error, not mystery. So, what's really going on? Here's the truth the Bermuda Triangle isn't cursed, it isn't home to Atlantis. There's no interdimensional portal and no extraterrestrial base lurking beneath the waves. What it is, is a patch of ocean prone to deadly weather, swift currents, and occasional misfortune. Just like many other parts of our planet, what set the triangle apart wasn't its death toll, it was its storytelling. A few strange coincidences, a lack of debris, a few confused compass needles, and suddenly, a legend is born. But for every unsolved disappearance, we now have gigabytes of satellite data, reanalyzed flight records, sonar scans, and wreckage modeling to fill in the blanks. Outro, the final word. There's something deeply human in all of this. Our desire to find patterns, to connect dots, to wrap tragedy and myth so it feels less random, less chaotic. But the Bermuda Triangle, when you peel back the fog, isn't paranormal. It's painfully normal. It's a stretch of sea like any other, just with a better publicist. Still, the next time your compass twitches, and the sky begins to darken just beyond the horizon. Maybe, just maybe, keep one eye on the radar. You never know. I'm James Stewart, and this has been Asked from Earth. Until next time, keep your feet dry, your coordinates locked, and never lose your sense of wonder.